There's a complete range of lights from the small battery powered lights, very simple to operate. This one's a multiple LED. This one, again, battery powered, single LED, more powerful output. <coughs> now, the rechargeable lights, now they're recharged through a simple charging adapter which plugs into the mains electricity supply and plugs into the back of the lamps or into the bottoms of the lamps. These come in two different modes. We have the multiple LED and the single LED and likewise with these again multiple and the single. Those are the LED lamps. This one uses a filter, 50 volt bulb and is powered by a 12 volt battery so it can be connected to the vehicle battery and then operated quite simple underneath the hood of the vehicle. The object of the lamp is to excite the die. Now when we are using leak detection dies we use glasses. The glasses carry out two functions. One, they act as a protective goggle for the operator. But the other thing is that they actually filter the light around the vehicle so that when you're actually looking for the dye, it enhances the fluoresce. If you can see from the dye, it fluoresces when it's excited by the lamp. If you were to then you see it under the glasses, you'll see that the fluoresce actually is enhanced. So the glasses do perform a function and it's advisable to use the glasses when looking for leaks because it does make the task easier. <coughs> so the multiple LED for getting in close we have the stronger one which is again battery operated but again it carries out the same function. And it will just fluoresce the dye and again you'll see that with the glasses you get an even better result. With the other lamps, again, they carry out the same function. It depends on whether you need to get in close or you're at a distance from the point of the leak. So the single LED can be used at a greater distance, whereas the multiple LEDs, really, you need to get in close proximity of the AC system.